hello students this is amardeep singh your it teacher so today we will discuss about session 6 of unit 2 working with page breaks and section breaks page breaks are basically used to separate contents of a word document into different pages and the section breaks are used to split a document into different sections or paragraphs So if you want to use page break or section break then you have to click on page layout at this section then we are having breaks option when we will click on breaks then it will explore page break and section breaks so first we will discuss about page breaks and its types we are having three types of page breaks page column and text wrapping so first we will discuss about page break This option makes the word processor introduce a page break so that the contents are shifted to the next page. So what you have to do, you have to place your cursor or your you can say your insertion point anywhere inside the text. Then you have to go break section. Then click on this section page. Then see what happened. the text after that uh, insertion point is moved to the next page so that's all about page option inside page break next we are having column break inside break section so if you want to use this column option then you have to create multiple columns in your document so first of all we'll discuss what is a column break this type of a break causes the following text to begin at the top of the next column so to use this option we have to convert the text into two column so first of all you have to select the text then inside page layout tab we are having columns option you can click on this one we are having option two column three column so we'll use two column so now you can see the text is converted to two column then to use column break what you have to use you have to place your cursor your insertion point anywhere inside the column so i'll place my cursor here in uh, before this text so what we have to do we have to click on breaks then column now you can see that the text after that insertion point moves to the next column so it's all about column breaks next we are having text wrapping break inside the break section so text wrapping break is also known as line break or uh, with the help of this option we can wrap or move the text to the next line so we have to click or place the insertion point anywhere inside the paragraph let's suppose we place the cursor here and then we'll move to break section and when you will click on text wrapping break you can see the text after that insertion point is moved to the next line that's all so after discussing page breaks we'll discuss about section breaks in this section so section breaks are basically used to create a new section or a paragraph on the same page or on the next page so we are having four types of section breaks next page continuous even page odd page so we'll discuss about next page first so this type of section break is used to start a new section on the next page that means it will start a new section so what you have to do you have to place the cursor any anywhere inside the text then go to break section then click on next page so now you can see it move the text after the insertion point to the next page and create a new section or you can say it creates a new paragraph on the next page next we will discuss about continuous section break a continuous section break is used this break it is used to make a new section on the same page 
instead of creating a new page so you have to place your insertion point or your cursor inside the paragraph or inside the text written then click on break and click continue so now you can see it creates a new section or you can say a new paragraph on the same page next we are having even and odd section breaks these two breaks so even uh, section break is used to start a new section on the next even numbered page like 2 4 6 8 etc and odd page break is used to start a new section on the next odd numbered page like 3 5 7 etc so presently we are on page number 1 we will place a cursor here and if we'll click on even page even section break then it will move the text to uh, it will create a new section on the next even numbered page that is page number two so click on this option now you can check it creates a new section on page number two and in case we click on odd section break then it will create a new section on next odd numbered page that means presently we are on page number one if we'll click on this option this odd section break option then it will move and create a new section on next odd numbered page that is page number three now click on this one now you can check after page number one it will create it creates a new section on page number three that's all about even and odd section breaks next if we want to check how many page or section breaks that we have placed in the present document then we have to click on home tab and then here we are having an option known as show and hide page breaks or session breaks if you will click on this one it will show all the page breaks and section breaks on your document so presently we are not having any page or section break so first of all again it's a toggle button basically so if you will click it will hide all the options so what you have to do first of all we have to insert some breaks here so let's suppose I click here and page layout then break will insert our text wrapping uh, break that means it will move the text to the next line and on another section here we'll use another break like a continuous section break so on this document we are having two breaks one is text wrapping space and second one continuous section break so if you want will move to home tab and click on this option this button which is used to show or hide page break or section break section then you can see click on this option now you can see that we are having two breaks on this page here we place this symbol is used to indicate that we have placed our text wrapping space our break and this section indicates that we have placed a section break after showing all type of breaks you can also use the same option to delete any kind of break from your document so if you want to delete any kind of break then what you have to do you have to click on this section like we want to remove this section break then you have to click here and from the keyboard press delete button now you can see it removes the section break if you want to remove this text wrapping space a break then you have to click here then again press delete button now you can see it remove all the space uh, all type of breaks that you have inserted in the current document so that's all about deleting section and page breaks thank 
so that's all about page and section break and how to manage all type of breaks so if you are having any kind of query then you can contact me anytime thank you very much